Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be, by request, uh, a hips, hamstrings and working into splits flow. I will be honest here, I am by no means the best person at splits. I really have to work on my splits and if I don't work on them, then I kind of go backwards a little bit and lose it. Um, <clears throat> but these are really good little sequences that you can work in to work on your splits and they're the ones that I use in order to get that a little bit deeper, open up, soften on down. So you're going to need two yoga blocks. If you don't have two blocks, one is fine or you can grab a couple of books or whatever else you need. So I have them to the side and we will get started on our yoga mat, lying down on our backs. So we're going to begin in Supta Baddha Konasana, so that's a supine cobbler pose. Soles to the feet together, knees fall apart, bring your hands down to your belly, draw the shoulder blades together and then go ahead and close the eyes. Take a moment here to connect to the breath. Letting go of whatever kind of day or week you've had and allowing yourself to arrive in this space. Allow the jaw to soften. The face to soften. And softening down through that little space behind the backs of the ears. And go ahead and take a really nice deep breath in through the nose. And a big exhale out through the mouth. Two more breaths, just like that. Big inhale. Easy exhale. And then one more time, big inhale. Easy exhale. Coming back to the breath in and out through the nose. Gently drawing the knees together. And then draw the knees in towards the chest. Give your legs a really nice kind of big hug in. Maybe circle through the ankles a little bit, see how that feels. I'm going to come into a happy baby pose, so grab a hold of the outside edges of the feet. Allow the knees to draw in towards the armpits. Maybe take a little bit of a sway side to side. Or you can always extend out through one heel and then the other. Just finding some space in the backs of the legs. Space in the hips. Stay here, or you can send the feet behind the head, make your way into a plow pose. Hands can either support the low back, or you can bring the arms out in front. Extend out through the heels. Now I'm going to come all the way up to an easy seat, nice and controlled. You can use helping hands if you like. Feet out in front, flesh away from the sit bones, big inhale to lengthen, and then exhale to fold and soften. If you don't have to come particularly far down, just allow yourself to soften. It is still a bit of a warm up here, so soften down through the head, the neck, the chest. Allow the body to be heavy, don't worry about how low you get. Keep the toes nice and active up towards the sky, spine is long. And then we'll take a big inhale, come all the way back up. Crisscross the ankles, bend the knees, come into a tabletop, and then we'll come straight away into downward facing dog. So tucking the toes, sending the sit bones up and back. First down dog of the practice, maybe the first one of your day, so take a moment to walk it out, bend one knee and then the 
the other. Go ahead and bring the feet out super wide, about as wide as your yoga mat. Send the sit bones up towards the sky, ground down through the palms, lengthen through the spine. And then go ahead and bring those feet back in, about hip width apart. We'll bring the left hand to the centre of the mat, just underneath the belly button. And you can either stay there, you ground down through that right hand, bring the left hand to the outside of the right leg, wherever you can grab a hold of, doesn't really matter. And then draw yourself underneath that right shoulder. And then release. And take it to the other side. So again, you can keep that right hand underneath the belly button, or you can grab a hold of the outside of the left leg, draw yourself underneath the left shoulder. Keep rooting down through the heels, even if they don't touch the mat. And then release. On your next exhale, we'll walk the hands back towards the feet so you come into a forward fold at the back of the mat. Allow yourself to hang heavy, maybe bend the knees a little bit. You can grab for opposite elbows with opposite hands so you come into a ragdoll forward fold. Take a nice little sway side to side. And go up the head and back. And then we'll take a big inhale, release the hands, bring the hands to the shins, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, fold and soften. Two more breaths, just like that. Big inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and soften. And then one more time, big inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and soften. Soften the knees, hang nice and heavy. Fingertips can drizzle towards the mat. And we'll take a big inhale, lengthen the spine. Walk our hands all the way back so you come back to your downward facing dog. Take a big inhale, lift the right leg way up and back, three legged dog. Bend the knee, open up through the hip. And then on your next exhale, step the right foot forward in between the hands. Soften down through the left knee, but keep the left toes tucked. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, send the sit bones up and back. Bow down over that right leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine, soften the knee. Exhale, sit bones up and back, lengthen the spine. Inhale, soften the knee, gaze forward. Exhale, sit bones up and back, lift the toes, breathe. You always walk your hands backwards or forwards, just depending on how much space you've got to play with. You can always place your hands on those blocks that we have handy. And then we'll walk the hands all the way forwards, lift this left knee up off the mat. Ground down through the palms. Use your core strength to step back to a high plank. So hips in line with the rest of the body. Come one inch forwards, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, rolling over the toes. Downward facing dog. Take a big inhale, lift the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open up through the hip. On your next exhale, step your left foot forwards in between the hands. Soften down, right knee. And keep the right toes tucked. Hands on the earth. Inhale. Exhale, sit bones up and back, lift the toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sit bones back. One more little flow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sit bones back. Pause here. Couple of breaths. Again, you can walk your hands backwards or forwards. You can grab your blocks if you want them. And then inhale, lengthen, soften that left knee. Ground down through the hands. Lift the right knee. Step back, high plank. One inch forwards, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And 
Gaze forwards in between the hands, bend the knees, take a nice big step to the top of your mat. Lengthen through the spine, inhale. Fold forwards, exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Connect the palms. And then exhale, release, bring the hands down into the heart space. On your next inhale, sweep the hands all the way up. Exhale, dive down, chin to shin. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, flat back. Exhale, ground down through the palms. Hop or step back to your high plank. Or micro bend in the elbows as you do that. One inch forwards, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. So with our splits, we not only need to get into the hamstrings, we need to get into the hips. So take a nice deep breath in, lift the right leg way up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forwards in between the hands. Step the back heel in a couple of inches, foot's at a 45 degree ankle, angle. Lengthen and straighten through that right leg, take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, fold. So if maybe you're a little bit higher, that's totally fine, this is where you grab your blocks, Bring your blocks down. And then hips are nice and level here. And then we'll lengthen the spine, inhale, soften the knees, step the left foot back a little bit, spin the back heel, rise up to a warrior two. Right hand forwards, left hand back, soften the shoulders, sink into that front knee. Turn the right palm over, sweep it back, reverse the warrior. And then inhale through your warrior two, when we'll the hands down to the inside of the right foot, walk the hands to the back of the mat. So you bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, but keep that right foot really secure down onto the mat. Hands can come forwards a little bit, spine is long, skandasana. You'll really feel this one in the hips and the hamstrings. Staying with the breath. And then inhale, walk the hands through center, shift the hips, you bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, hands can come out, spine is along. Gaze is forwards. And then inhale back through center, take it back to the back of the mat. So you bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, secure that right foot down to the mat. And then walk the hands all the way back around to the top of the mat, pivot on the hands, pivot on the feet. Toe heel the right foot out to the right hand side, soften down through the left knee, down through the left foot. So you can stay here on your hands if you like. If you have a block handy, you can always drop down to your forearms on a block, maybe hang out here for a few breaths. Or if you find there's more space, you can drop totally down to the forearms. But just be aware, don't be tempted to drop the head around the shoulders. So this way you're kind of cheating yourself out of the stretch, but with our splits, we really want to get into that stretch. So think about lengthening through the spine, keep the gaze forwards. You can come onto the skinny edge of the right foot and then have a little bit of a wiggle side to side. And then come back up to the hands if you're on the forearms. Toe heel that right foot back in. Tuck the back toes under, lift the left knee up. Ground down through the left hand, sweep up through the right. It's a nice big spin on open. 
And then we'll bring that right hand back down to the floor. Creep the fingertips forwards, bring the left leg up and back. Standing split, we're gonna hang out here for a couple of breaths. Again, you can always use your block, stay up a little bit higher, bring the floor to you. Or you can soften on down, maybe grab a hold of the back of the right leg with the right hand. If you wanna go for the big balance, maybe the left as well. And then release the hands. Crisscross this left foot behind the right. And then bring the skinny edges of the feet together. You can either stay here or you can widen out the feet. And then take a big inhale and exhale fold. And again, if you want to use your block, bring the floor to you. Just takes any stress out of the pose. And then inhale, lengthen the spine. Uncross the legs. Give them a little bit of a wiggle. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Connect the palms. And then exhale, release hands to the heart space. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, sink low, chair pose. Shoulders soft, core engaged. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, come all the way down to the sit bones. As you do that, grab a hold of the two big toes with your peace sign fingers, and then maybe see what happens when you extend out through the heels. Lift the heart. If the knees don't bend for this one, that's totally fine. That's why you live for today. And then release, bring the soles of the feet together, knees apart, cobbler pose, Vedakanasana. Take a nice deep breath in, open up the feet like a book, and then exhale, fold forwards. You can always snuggle the elbows to the inside of the thighs or the calves. With each exhale, feel yourself sinking down a little bit more. And then inhale, come all the way up. Bring the hands just beside the knees, draw the knees together. I'm gonna come back to our chair pose, so you can step there if you like, or hands behind the backs of the thighs. Rock back, rock forwards, come onto your feet, rise up, chair pose. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, ground down through the palms, hop or step back to your plank. One inch forwards, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And we'll take that to the other side. So take a big inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, set the left foot forwards in between the hands. Set the right foot forwards a couple of inches, spin the heel down flat. Straighten through that left leg. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, fold. Allowing yourself to soften. You'll feel a big stretch down through that left hamstring. Just be wary not to lock the knee out. You want a micro bend. Micro bend team, you can't really... Micro bend meaning you can't really see the bend, but you know that it's there. Now we'll take a big inhale, lengthen through the spine, soften the left knee, Step the right foot back an inch or two. Spin the back heel down flat. And then on an inhale, rise up, warrior two. So you windmill the hands. Soften into the pose, soften the hips. Gaze out and over the left fingertips. And then we'll turn the left palm over. Sweep it back, reverse the warrior. So little to no weight in the back hand, breathing into that left side weight. Inhale, warrior two. 
Exhale, windmill the hands down to the inside of the left foot. Walk the hands to the back of the mat, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, Skandasana. Spine long. Inhale through center, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. Hands long and forwards, breathe. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Inhale through center, walk the hands to the top of the mat, pivot on the hands, pivot on the feet. We'll toe heel that left foot out to the left hand side and then soften on down through the right knee and the right foot. So again, you can stay here, hang out on your hands, spine long, maybe a little bit of a rock side to side. Or you can drop down to the forearms, lengthen the spine, either on the mat or on your blocks. Maybe you come onto the skinny edge of the left foot. And then inhale, lengthen the spine. Toe heel the left foot back in line with the left hip. Tuck the back toes, lift the right knee, creep the fingertips forwards. Right leg comes up and back, standing split. And again, you can hang out here, hands on the floor, hands on your blocks. Or you can bring maybe one hand, the left hand, behind the left leg. If you want to give it a go, maybe the right as well. Keep the right toes reaching, reaching, reaching towards the sky, but it doesn't matter how high they go. And then release the hands. And slowly release that right foot behind the left. Crisscross the ankles. You can either keep the feet together or you can widen them apart. Take a nice deep breath in, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, fold, let go of the head to the neck. Again, if you want to use your block, you can rest your hands on the block. And then inhale, lengthen the spine, and untangle the legs. Hang nice and heavy, maybe walk out the feet, the legs a little bit, grab for opposite elbows with opposite hands. On your next inhale, slowly rise all the way up to stand. Connect the palms at the top of the breath. And then exhale, release hands to the heart space. So grab your blocks, two blocks or your books, whatever you've got handy. Uh, we're going to work into splits. So if you're like me, splits isn't your favorite. Uh, just take it easy on your body, so don't expect yourself to go into full splits straight away. We're gonna take it in stages and we'll see how we go. So set up your blocks to either side of your mat just so you have them super handy. I'll bring the hands to the heart space, Tadasana. Feet together, knees together, thighs together. On your next inhale, sweep the hands all the way up. Exhale, sink low chair. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, ground down through the palms, hop or step back to your plank. One inch forwards, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a nice deep breath in, sweep the right leg way up and back. Exhale, step the right foot forwards in between the hands. Soften down through the left knee, but keep the left toes tucked for support. And then take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, sit bones up and back. Straighten through that right leg. So this is your half splits, uh, sometimes called runner's lunge. So you could stay here, hang out here. It's a really good um, hip opener, gets into the hamstrings. So if this is enough, stay here. Or you can bring your hands to your blocks. Soften that right knee length in the spine. Creep the right foot forwards. And then again, when you get to a comfortable space, you can lengthen the leg, stay here and breathe. If 
if you find that you've got a little bit more, you can lengthen the spine, maybe creep the right toes forwards a little bit more, lift the left knee and then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle the toes back so you soften them down. And this is where we stay here and breathe. So you can bring one block underneath that right sit bone, hang out here, spine is long, allow yourself to soften. And then if you find you have more space, you can always remove the block. Maybe another couple of wiggles, keep the hips nice and square, and then soft one on down. If you find you've got more space still, you can maybe come into a fold. And then when you're ready to come out, slowly bring that right leg back, and we'll come back to downward facing dog. So don't worry about how low you got in that pose. It doesn't really matter. Splits is just practice. So it's practice, practice, practice. And the more you practice, the easier it'll get, like everything. So we'll take it to the other side. So I bring your blocks to either side again, just so you have them nice and handy. Take a big inhale, lift the left leg up and back. And then exhale, step the left foot forwards in between the hands. Soften down through the right knee, keep the right toes tucked. So if you're anything like me, you've always got one side that's tighter than the other. This is my tighter side. Might be yours as well. If it is, be easy on yourself, be kind to your body. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, sit bones up and back. Bow down over that left leg. And again, you can hang out here. A few nice breaths, breathing. If you find you've got more space, soften the knee, creep the left foot forwards. Creep, creep, creep. Grab your box. Creep, creep, creep. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> soften. And again, if you want to go a little bit further, if you find you've got more space, lift the right knee, wiggle the right foot back. Wiggle, wiggle. Use your blocks. You can bring one block under the left sit bone. Breathe. Bonus points if you can do this with a smile. <laughs> and if you do want to go a little bit further, you could remove the block and soften on down. If you do want to go for the fold, by all means go for the fold. But it's not really necessary, it just gets a little bit deeper into the hamstrings. And when you're ready to come out, slowly bring that left foot back. We're going to come into a child's pose. Bring the knees apart, walk the hands forwards, soften down through the head, the neck, the chest. And then on your next inhale, slowly rise all the way up. So you come to sit on your heels. If you're not comfortable sitting on your heels, you can come to cross-legged. Bring the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, draw the shoulder blades together, lift up through the heart. Release the hands, inhale, bring the hands to the sky. Exhale, twist, right hand to the outside of the left leg, left leg behind. And then inhale back through centre. Exhale, take the twist to the opposite side. And then inhale back through centre. Connect the palms. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Shift the sit bones to one side. Swing the legs forwards. I'm going to come all the way down onto your back, but have your one of your blocks handy. 
Bring the feet nice and close towards the sit bone. So we're going to come into a supported bridge. So when you're ready, round down through the feet, lift up through the hips. You can post your block just to the low back. It wants to be before you hit your bum, um, but not on the mid, mid back. It wants to be the lower back. Kind of where if you're wearing yoga leggings, that's where the waistband hits. And you relax down through the shoulders, draw the shoulder blades together, allow the hands to fall out to the side. And if you want a little bit more or a little bit less, you can adjust your block. So if you want a little bit more, you can turn it onto the taller side. And then again, soften on down. On your next inhale, round down through the feet, lift the hips, remove the block, place it to the side. Widen out the feet, allow the knees to knock together, hands to the belly, shoulders heavy, close the eyes. Inhale, toe, hold the feet together. Gently bring the knees to the chest. T-shape out the arms. On your next exhale, drop the knees to the left. Either keep the gaze to the sky or bring the gaze out to the right. And then inhale back through center. On your next exhale, release the knees to the right. Either keep the gaze to the sky or bring the gaze out to the left. Whatever feels best for the head and the neck. Inhale, bring the knees back through centre, hug the knees towards the chest, maybe a little space side to side. And then slowly soften down, making your way into Shavasana. So you can keep the knees bent if you prefer, or soften down through the legs completely. Draw the shoulder blades together, spin the palms on up to face the sky. Close the eyes. Allowing the eyes to sink deep into the sockets. Allowing the body to feel totally heavy into the earth. Breathing out, letting go of any chaos and unrest. Breathing in, light, kindness and peace.
Begin to breathe a little bit deeper in and out through the nose. Find some movement for the body once again, wiggling through the fingers, the toes, the wrists, the ankles. When you feel ready to, bring the hands up and over the crown of the head. Come into a nice big full body stretch. Gently bring the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. And then roll on over to one side. On your next inhale, with helping hands, keeping the eyes closed, come all the way back up into an easy seat. Ground down through the sit bones, lengthen through the spine, crown of the head reaching up towards the sky. Take a nice deep breath in, sweep the hands all the way up and over the crown of the head. Connect the palms, exhale, hands to the heart space. Bow the head to the hands and the heart. Hands and the heart down to the earth, turning the corners of your mouth up into a nice big smile that you can take with you throughout the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing yoga with me today. I do hope that you enjoyed this splits flow. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Please do like and share this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Just a little bit of really exciting news. I am leading my first European full week yoga retreat in Ibiza in April 2018. We're already half booked, so if you want to come, if you want to check it out, um, I've got rooms for all budgets, so you can find something to suit your budget and your price range. I'm going to leave the link down below and you can check it out if you want to read more about it. I will be back next Friday with a brand new yoga video. Have a great day and I will see you then. Bye guys.